I don't think I can pass because literally everyone's blocking the way and they've all slid to the other side of the road and so forth. Whoa. Literally just got out of bed. Race down there to get this from the courier. <sighs> Finally, it's here. I've been waiting so long for this. And long awaited. The Canon EOS R5. Do a quick opening here. So there we go. There you have it. Isn't that sexy? What a beast. I'm gonna give you some first impressions of this. Flip out screen, a lot bigger than the EOS R, which is nice. The buttons are in a familiar place. I love the fact that the joystick's back. You know, the annoying slider that's in the EOS R has disappeared. The thing that I switch off because there's absolutely no use for it, but because the joystick's back, I previously had the 5D Mark IV and had the joystick and I missed it so much when it comes to switching to the EOS R. So I'm glad they've reintroduced it along with the AF on button, which I use to focus before I shoot as well. And the scrolly thing on the side, which is back rather than having the four buttons that's on the EOS R, as well as similarities with the EOS R when it comes to the screen display, the mode button, the record button, all of that's in the same place, which is good, which for me, switching over from the EOS R to the R5, it'll be really easy to pick up because it's literally all in the same place. And again, just like the EOS R, the shutter is actually protected because it's closed when you actually open it. And that is an awesome feature to try to prevent the sensor from being dirty. So this is pretty cool and I love that. I'm gonna put on the RF 70 to 200 lens on. It's a bit of a beast and let's see how it feels. So when it comes to the ergonomics of it all, just like the EOS R, it is actually a little bit top heavy, especially when you put heavy RF lenses on. So enough about how it all looks and the look and feel and first impressions here in the studio. Let's take it out in the field and give it a bit of a test run. So I'm just driving towards Oberon in uh, the west of the Blue Mountains and there was so much snow. Literally, I just got bogged down earlier, but it is looking magical. I don't think I've seen snow like this since I went to Mount Fuji, and it looks amazing. Welcome to Australia. So here am I, stuck in the middle of the road in the middle of the snow with so many cars that are behind me that have kind of like got stuck and it's looking pretty treacherous out here as well. I, I don't know if I'll make it, I don't know if I'll turn around, but this is the first time I'm vlogging on the Canon EOS R5. How stable does it look? It's pretty cool, hey? And, and what a scenery for it. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna stick around or try to make it through. It's pretty treacherous, there's no grit at all, and I'm driving a standard hatchback with no chains or anything like that. Looking at a number of cars stuck on the road behind me, I don't think I can pass because literally everyone's blocking the way and they've all slid to the other side of the road and so forth. I might have to turn around. Oh, it's a bit of a shame because I really want to get to this spot. I don't know, I just gotta improvise, I've got no reception at all, and I don't know, I have to see what, what I can do. I made it out through that, I waited for the cars to clear because they were blocking the road completely, and I made it through, luckily, and the road's looking a little bit better, so fingers crossed that I won't run into any more of this, I can make it. made it into a town called Oberon and it's absolutely bucketing down with snow. It's, it's pretty heavy and I hope that I don't get trapped in this town but it is so beautiful just to see all this around me. It's like I'm in Europe or something like that but this is a great chance to test out the 100 frames per second on the new Canon EOS R5 and that is something I'm looking forward to with the snow 
in the background. It, it's a good chance to slow it down to see what it's like. So let's get into some B-roll. So you, might, so you might add a forest pulled over and it's bucketing down with snow and it's looking pretty magical at the moment. Here with some crew of people. Hey, hey what's up? And yep. This, so snowy. This is awesome. Yeah. This is pretty cool. So good. <laughs> Thoughts on the uh, R5 since you tried <laughs> oh. it? Okay, now. so this is the first time that I've actually played around with this camera um, and I've been wanting a new camera that does good video because my Sony just doesn't do that good video. It's, it's like the color science just isn't there and I get frustrated with it. Um, and I think I've fallen in love with this camera. Like I had a quick play, five minute play with it and it is insane. Like the sharpness in photos and the stabilization yeah. for video at 200, oh, yeah. like it's insane. Um, yeah. So yeah, look, I think, I think I'm switching the Canon. I think that's official. Like, yeah, not Ooh. many people know, but it's like uh, big call. <laughs> Big call. Big call. <laughs> throwing throwing <laughs> snowball. People throwing now. snowball now. No. <laughs> <laughs> currently on this pathway at the moment which is absolutely beautiful as you can see the trees are covered in snow it's still snowing right now the sun's been coming up in bursts and as you can see this is filmed on 25 frames per second and as you can see there's a little bit of wobble with the IS so the stabilization does give a bit of a wobble on the R5 because it's so wide but to be able to fix that I just need to punch it in a little bit to about 24 so 24 there's no wobble. As you would have seen just now, there was some footage taken on the EOS R5 with 100 frames per second. And you can see all of that was done handheld and you can see how unbelievably stable it is. Especially when it's slowed down, it just looks buttery smooth. I am so impressed by it. Who needs a gimbal? Who needs a tripod? All you need is the camera body, the lens and the microphone to film in, variable ND, done. All of that was done handheld. All of that using in-body camera stabilization and the lens has IS as well and it just looks absolutely insane. I am in love with this camera. So anyway, enough of this. Before I lose any more light and before I lose the epic conditions, I'm going to send my drone up and get some shots of some B-roll here before I leave for the day. Yeah. 